Hello everyone and welcome to Elite Dangerous. This is day seven of exploration to the center of the galaxy. Now if I go into the debug camera you can clearly see the stars surrounding us and the galaxy we're so close to the centre now, you can see it all around the circle. Lovely. Take a screenshot. Right then folks, I've got 32 jumps to go. I'm on my first thousand hop jump. And on the galaxy map, as you can see, I've made a significant distance from Sagittarius A. I'm not that far away. 4,600 light years. So I should be there. Well, in no time at all, really. Quick update on my statistics. Systems visited. There, one thousand seven hundred and sixty-two. And now I believe when I started this trip, it was on nine hundred something. That's the last time I checked it, anyway. So I've travelled. Wow. I it's a, I'm a very long way from home and to be honest my ship isn't the best for fitting out for exploration Frameship drive charging. for one I still got shields I can get rid of my shields completely I'm not going to meet no one out here but I just, I just couldn't bring myself to do it and another thing I got weapons Four, three, two. Why would I need weapons for exploration? I'm not going to meet no one. The thing is, I've heard stories of people at Sagittarius A that just kill explorers for the fun of it. So I thought I'd bring some weapons just in case. Now they are turreted, so I don't have to do anything. Fuel sequence complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. But apart from that, this asp is a um, good old ship. Drive I do like it. Oh, I must say, this trip out here is taking longer than expected. Four, three, two, one, but you've probably noticed that these stars surrounding us are a lot brighter than usual. The closer you get to the centre, the more stars are clustered around, really, really close together. So, this will have a dramatic effect on the graphics, and it will just look like chicken pox on your screen. And we should get that soon. I say we just go another thousand light years and we should start to see all the nice stars. 
Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame nice and close to charging. us. Let's go. say about my home I am missing it I've been out here for a couple days now seven days a bit more actually because I did start the yeah, videos probably one day after I started the exploration trip so technically I've been out here for eight days Although I have been playing without recording, so in all fairness, this is probably my thirteenth day. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameship drive. But to keep driving. it nice and simple for recording, it's day seven. I believe uh, Frontier did host a challenge um, starting from Seoul and reaching the center of the galaxy and they done it to see who could do it the quickest and I think one commander done it in about 10, 10 hours that's mad That ship must have been naked. I mean, nothing on it. Fuel speaking complete. Frame ship drive charging. See if I didn't scan the star. Oh crap. Order system. Frameship drive charging. I would get there a lot quicker. Where's that star to? It's over there. How far away is it? 24,000. Too far away. Ready to engage. Three, two, one, engage. So, yeah, if I didn't scan the system and the star, I could probably get to the center. Quite quickly, for this jump, jump, jump. Fuel scooping. It's also best to make it a habit to uh, do a detail scan as soon as you pop in. So if you're chatting away like I am, you sometimes forget. Fuel scooping complete. Right, off to the next one. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Now I hope you um, all enjoyed my last episode. Four, three, two, one, engage. I did take you on a tour across my YouTube page. And I must say, I do really must say uh, thank you again for sticking around. And I hope you're uh, enjoying this series. Now, the best thing about having a A-rated power distributor and power plant. I can get down there nice and close without heating up. So really I'm still on 66, 68, oh there it goes, climbing up. 
eventually that will get hotter. It's nice to know because I can be quite close to a star without having to worry about overheating. I think this will be the last system and then I'll stop stop the uh, recording for a bit. Let's see what we got. Fuel scooping. There's a couple of stars about. Six thousand. It might just be in range of scanning. folks let's get out into the galaxy so you can see the wonderful colors let's get away from that annoying star that's ruining the view and I shall leave you in the debug camera I don't know why they still call it the uh, debug camera. Just call it an external camera or something like that. So, stars are ever so closer. It's crazy to think how many there are. Millions, absolute millions. Right then, folks, I'm gonna leave you here and I'll be back in a second. See you in a bit. Hello, guys. I hope you're well. Back again. Let's just scan this star get some fuel we got three jumps to go a nice yellow orange to be honest you have um, some nice planets in yellow orange but nothing here fuel scoop disengaged how close is that star Too far away for me to scan. Frameshift drive charging. So let's go to the next system. Oh, the galaxy is looking beautiful as always. Four, three, two, one, engage. The center is not looking that far away. Just about 3,000 light years to go. And to be honest, 3,000 light years is not a long way. If you've travelled this far into the galaxy, then that distance is like a stone's throw. System. Probably done that a bit too early, but we're all right. Nice bright star. Oh, they're off. What are these spears of light? 
I'll tell you what, the game has changed so much since uh, Premium Beta. It's unreal. Everything from the layout of the Galaxy map, the layout. If you, I'm going to go back to the Galaxy map. In Premium Beta, if you had the game then, I remember all you had was a little bubble of space to travel in. Only it only had about 50 stars on it. And that was it. That's all we got. And now look at it. I'm on my way to the centre. Even the graphics have changed. Like the uh, planets, like the textures on the planets. Like you won't believe it. Drive you would charging. think it's a totally different game. And I've, is it heading in the right direction? I say yes it is. And I say that because of everything that's happened with the previous update. Like you got power play and you also got uh, close quarters combat coming CQC that's coming in uh, August I believe don't quote me on that and I do hope sometime in the future we do get our planetary landings to be honest I'd rather be able to walk around my ship so I reckon out here in deep space it would be cool when you when you finish exploring when you've done what you got to do you shut down your thrusters and then you just get out your, get out your seat go downstairs into your sleeping cabin and when you go in your seat that is how you save the game that's how you quit the game but if you want to quit the game you gotta get out your seat and go in your bed. I reckon that would be pretty awesome. And I do think Frontier do watch my videos. Because um I believe I've done a video on exploiting the wing beacon. And about a week after that, we can do it no more. And also I had, I had a python, it was a master python, I was an eagle, and I killed him, and now they've changed the way they fight. A long time ago I was in a anaconda, I flew it for a starport backwards, with flight assist off, and they changed some physics with flight assist. So Frontier you've got me thinking but what an awesome game I do thank you for uh, giving us a fantastic space game to play in you can do anything and I know some of you are saying yes it can be boreas at some times but he, if you have a genuine passion for space, exploration, fighting, ships, the way they handle, guns, killing, piracy, bounty hunting, mining, trading, you've got it all. Fuel scooping. And I can't wait for a future development. Um, I believe they are having not money troubles but they are suffering with income because they only make their money through sales of the game and if they're not selling games they're not making any money so they can't develop the game further and I've been thinking we should start a Kickstarter I know the game's already been developed, but a Kickstarter to save Elite the Dangerous. If 
probably doing fine, but let's do it anyway. Let's save them. Let's give them more. We've reached our destination, folks. The galaxy map's looking beautiful. I always say that. The galaxy map. That's the galaxy map right there. Not this. This is the universe. The galaxy that we're in. And I must say, it looks fantastic. So does our ship. I mean, the white paint job looks beautiful. But when you turn the lights on, it's a bit whoa in your face. The lights are like five times brighter. Right, so let's go into the galaxy map. Shut down first. So from, let's go to Seoul, planet Earth, our birth, birthplace, 22,000 light years away, I can't believe that, I really can't, from Sagittarius A, we're not that far away, from Sagittarius A. I'm a poet and I don't know it. 3,600 light years away. Looking good, folks. Looking good. And now. Ah, I can't wait to get there. We are so close. Let's look how close we are. Nice looking nebula there. But apart from that, I think I'm going to leave it here. And now, in my next episode, I'm going to talk about my story. My story of Elite Dangerous. From the beginning all the way to the present day, from where I am. And I must say, it started in Federation space. But uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a bit, bit deep into this story. I'm gonna go a bit over the top. The Federation killed my parents. <coughs> That's all I'm saying. <coughs> right, folks. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye, folks. Take care.